In the previous three videos I showed you how to get to a basic layout of the Jane mesh in UV space and how to untangle the ears and the mouth. I've done a little work since then. I've done the nose and the other ear uh, and the chin has been unfolded. But the next step is to do the eyes which I'm going to approach slightly differently than the ears and the mouth because it's not closed on the back side. Unfolding directly doesn't work as well. So let's go to my model. I uh, need to get into the eye so I'm going to select the both eyes and hit Ctrl H to make them disappear so I can actually get to the inside of the eyes. Let's zoom in. That's a bit too far. Switch to edge mode and grab the first row by double clicking get the first row that's probably overlapping with something else. So let's zoom in on here as well. There it is. That's the edge row and you see it is indeed overlapping. Now I just need to get it small to fit it inside the uh, available space. I'm going to select and convert the selection to UVs. I'll do that a lot. And hitting R to scale and scaling it down so it's just inside the next ring. Then I'm going to go into my eye in 3D again and select the next row over. Convert that to UVs and scale it in so it's just inside the previous ring. And then go in once more, double click, get the next row, convert to UVs, scale it in and the eye is basically unfolded. There's a little tiny problem over here and that's easily fixed the old-fashioned way. Going to UV selection, selecting the appropriate uh, UVs and then just hitting the unfold button. That fixes that. So this is a relatively fast way to get the eye proper. There's a little bit of mess up here but that's easily fixed manually. Just move out a few points and get it a little bit out of the way. And we're basically done. Now I'm not going to show you how to do the other eye so we'll take a little break and when we get back the other eye is done as well. So while you were not looking I did the other eye. So basically we got all the UVs laid out properly. There's no more overlapping uh, UVs or polygons that are overlap in UV space. So let's look at what the distribution of the UVs on the face is like. In order to do that we need to assign a texture to the head. So let's look at the attribute editor and we can see it's in the initial shading group. There's no shader assigned to this head specifically. So let's assign one, go to the rendering tab and for instance click a form E. It doesn't really matter which one but this one we might use later anyway. So in the color I'm going to put a texture and I could use an image texture. Uh, in this case I'll be, I'll be using the checkerboard texture. I will include a texture placement with it in this case. So we get the checker on our head um, and you can see not all squares are of the same size and you want them to be as equal as possible. So you get an even distribution of UVs along over the head. The squares are still rather big also so I can repeat them a few more times. For instance go to 12, 12 not 120, 12, 12. And you can see it looks okay but not perfect. For instance on the chin there's a area where it's really stretched. Let's get rid of the attribute editor select the head so we can look at UV space and we actually don't see anything because this checkerboard pattern is so bright that we no longer see the UVs. So using this button we can dim the background image and see our UVs again. We could have the computer do everything for us and just by selecting all the UVs and hitting polygons relax 
will get us a better distribution already. Not half bad, but it moves stuff around so it's less close to the original cylindrical mapping so it might not fit a photograph or a painted face as well. So let's un undo that and instead try to do it per region. For instance look at the chin and say okay I want the chin area basically this part to be relaxed. So um, there's a button up here that does basically the same thing. Automatically move UVs for better texture distribution and you see it made it way better already. It's not perfect but it's better. We now may have not in quite enough on the chin uh, but we can also then manually say okay we want to move it down a little and these top ones don't start overlapping stuff again and these top ones we might actually want to have a little bit more space so let's scale those up a bit. And basically you need to do that for the entire head. Make sure that your squares are as equal in size as you can get them and see that it's sort of smoothly laid out. You can see the whole face is sort of stretched to in total so you might want to try and get the face, the biggest portion of the face, got most of the face here. Uh, turn on soft selection with a low area like 0.1 and then again try scaling it and see if you can get a little bit more area for the face itself. This kind of stretching you can't do much about because we're wrapping this ear inside of this little tiny space. Uh, but overall it's not half bad, not perfect, especially over here. You want to make this look better but it's obviously not cleaned up yet. So using this as a way to visualize what you're doing, you now want to distribute the UVs as evenly as possible. You can use the relax option and have the computer do most of the work for you. You can also try and do everything manually. It might give you an even better result, but it might also cost you a couple of hours. This is where I'll stop UVing this head and I hope this was a useful tutorial for you guys. The only thing I want to do while I'm at it is switch back to option mode and look at her. Doesn't she look great? Oh, she hasn't got any eyes. Let's display and show last hidden, bringing the eyes back.